Hello, hello, good evening. And happy Friday. Ah, it feels so good to be done with work. I have the weekend in front of me. I am looking forward to um, uh, to just sort of like chilling. Oh, he's just out of view. He's just on this like right over there in a corner. Okay, so, uh, I found, uh, the thing that Mr. Halsey was mentioning yesterday. Uh, in fact, he put a comment in here about, about it, uh, which looks like it's, it's the uh, login authentication that failed. Uh, now I did get a new, um, token and that worked. So, uh, hi, what? You okay? Uh, yeah, so it looks like it's an authentication failure thing. But 10% uh, of the time, uh, it also will just fail, which I think we've seen before, just every once in a while. And apparently, we can just loop around and try to uh, just keep on trying until it works. Wait a second between each try. So, that's what I want to try today. Uh, switch over to, to another branch and, and try fixing it this way. Um, so let's see. So we're currently on uh, switching to IRC branch. I'm ahead? What am I ahead in? Um, also, this thing. I keep on forgetting about it. Maybe, maybe you work better. Wait, I couldn't pull? Oh, can't pull it? That's interesting. I must not have the right key on this, uh, uh, on the um, subsystem for Linux. Uh, okay, apparently gotta use this. And of course, already up to date. Um, okay, so what? What am I ahead by? That config Hummel, I do not want it. Oh, I don't want that in here. Okay. Um, let's open. Or. Hide that. Um, it's not the config file that we really need. We need a different one for the Twitch chat library as opposed to um, just normal IRC. 
Hi. Do you want a mousy? I have a mousy. Yeah? Do you want it down here? Ready? Okay, so... Um... What is my difference? I don't know what my difference is. Um, I'm gonna get... Oh, I know what... Do I know what it was? I don't know what it was. Um, so... Ah, this thing over and over again. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, okay, so... I'll, I'll push that up later. Uh, check it out. HP. Okay, so we're on the main branch. We're on the master branch. Um, let's switch over to fixing uh, Twitch chat. Okay, so in here, um, right, we're using a very old version of small. Uh... We're using previous version of Twitch chat, uh, but I think what our issue is is that the .env file. Um, we don't have one here. We just have that uh, config.toml. Uh, so what I want to do is create a .env. And then we'll create an example for using this as our testing. Oh, that env is already in there. Um, And so I think these are the things that I need. Twitch channel, Twitch name, Twitch token. And I already have dot env in here that tries to load them somewhere. Right here. Okay, so. What? Oh. Now I gotta delete that token. Um. Oh, I didn't. Okay. I thought it wasn't. I thought the file wasn't here. Uh, and it turns out that it was because I looked for. Ah, uh, files of that. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Now I gotta look for how to. Delete that token. Um, forget off the top of my head. Let me. Which token? Uh, revoking access tokens. Um, let's see. 
clean up previously, obtain access token, use the Twitch OAuth token, replication endpoint. Um, let's see, we're gonna curl. I'm gonna do that up here. I have curl. Um, I do so. X post to this thing. Uh, and then it's going to be this oh, dash D. Okay, so oh, I need my plan ID. Um, I don't have my clan ID, do I? Okay, here's a different curl. So give me that. Okay, hold on. Another window up here. Yeah, so my thought was, okay, I'll just put in some bogus stuff to begin with. But this goes to show, never, just don't. Just don't even, don't even log in with that stuff without the, the security screen up. Um, okay, let's get that. Station air. Okay, I need Oh, apparently, wait, that's an invalid access token. Is that an old access token? Hold on. Um, let's see. Apparently, another way I can do it is just changing my password. say that it said that somewhere when a user changes their password or disconnects an app we delete all tokens for that user oh i wonder if that's what happened that's why that's why everything stopped working for me because i did change the password a while ago um but let me i wonder if i can just do that right now again real quickly um do Where's my settings? That's settings. This is now a secret.
Um, let's see, old one in there. Okay, that should have reset that token. So all the tokens that are generated with that account are gone, uh, which means while I'm here, let me just generate a new token and put that in there. Okay, so you. Okay. Oh, how fun that is. Take me back to my dashboard, please. Oh, right, at the login again. Okay, and I'm back. Um, Lego Logic, hello. What chair am I using? This is I forgot exactly what model it is. It's um, it's one of the ones that I, I remember that they had in the Silicon Valley show. Um, let's see, I forget the exact name of it. Uh, I have it like upstairs written down somewhere. Uh, so you might have to ask me later when I'm like, well, ironically when I'm not streaming. Um, is that true? Do I, do I have it? I actually might have it down over there. Got like every manual other than other than the chair one down here. So that's that's cool. Uh, so unfortunately, I don't remember. Sorry about that. Um, OK, so we're going to try this. Uh, so to begin with, um, let's get an example going. Okay, so um, I feel like it's from an autonomous AI. It's oh, it's Swedish. It's like one of those foreign designs, uh, foreign to America at least. But I don't remember which one. Um, and I bought it locally because there, there's this store that had a, like a whole bunch of chairs. So we just went in and, and tried a bunch out. We like this one the most. So uh, has had the best lumbar support for the price point. Um, OK, so we have my Twitch chat wrapper. We have all this stuff. Um, I want to create examples. And then in examples, 
I guess it's just gonna be the, you know, connect to Twitch. Okay, excellent. So we have that working. Uh, then I want to... Uh, we want to run the run thing, and I want to see if I can get the air. I don't think I'm going to get the air now because I have a new token. Um, so let's see. We need the channels. So... I think it's sender first. Yeah, it's sender. Okay, so let's do send to uh, Twitch to see from. Okay, so send to Twitch, which means. Uh, receive from and then the opposite. So see from app uh, example. Send to example. Receive from which. Um, okay, then I want to throw this into a thread. Where do I get spawn out of? Oh, thread spawn. Okay, thread spawn spawn. Um, okay, we're going to use a move. Um, and then we're going to do a... I don't think we do a loop here. Um... Let's see. Uh, we do run. Okay, so receive for chat. So that's receive from example. Uh, send incoming chat message. So this is send to example. Hi, right, Zilby, you okay? I swear, so there's some storage behind me, and I've noticed that he recently will stand in front of it when he knows we're down here, and he'll just meow at the door, but every meow is different. Like, he goes back and forth from, like, the super cute, like, chur meows to, like, the I'm being murdered, uh, come help me meows. He's, like, just trying them all to see if we'll come and open the door for him so we can go in there, but... That's storage stuff. We, we don't want him to go and explore back there. It's not safe for him. So instead, he just sits there and stares. 
wondering when I'm going to get the message that he should, that he needs to be back there. But I'm, I'm apparently just the meanest person in the world. Okay, so if I do that, uh, then I think we have to join on this. Okay, so... Um, I think this will... Th this should not crash, but I should be able to try sending a message, right? So I should be able to do... Uh, send to Twitch. Uh, it wants a string, right? So... Okay, let's try this, see if it works. There we go, okay, so connecting from example and it didn't fail. Um, So apparently like 10% of the time it can fail. There. Like this, it can fail like this, okay. So they do a loop over the Twitch loop. Where, where is this going to be? I think it's going to be in the library. Okay, so we did this small run. Okay, you return a result. Are you, am I supposed to return, like... So can I match you? I can indeed. Okay, so if we if we're okay, um, I don't care about that. Uh, and we can print line. Connected to Twitch chat successfully um, if it's this error however I want to try again so what do I want to do do I want to just like rerun run after a certain amount of time no because that will this will still be up and running how are they doing this Oh, if I put, okay, if I put a loop, this in a loop. Oh, wait, is it the other thing that we put in a loop? Wait, wait, maybe you don't put this in a loop at all. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Actix Web 4 just got released. Oh. Is that, um, what's, uh, do, do you know what the, um, 
like the high level like details of it are is like is it super faster now is it like did, did they do many like big changes to it also hello and good evening stacking i think Is this what we want to to join? Oh, so I loop over this. And I handle the error so it, it doesn't matter. So we do um, match on you. So on OK, I don't care about that. And then we delay here. Oh, we delay above. They didn't really say what they changed or what the big features were. Well, okay, I that feels a little bit weird, right? Because you know, four is a big number. Like every time there's a major release, that feels like there's something big that changed. Like it's breaking changes. Okay, so it waits for a second and then it attempts to connect. Um, you, we need to recreate these every time through. Okay, let's try this. Okay. And I just wanna see if we can get to a point where it, it says an error. Last time it was four attempts. I can see like just a pixel moving with the uh, the chat, but it's like okay, it's it's not it's not failing now. Oh wait, ah oh, damn it, it failed. That wasn't my error message though. So that panicked somewhere else. So the thread panicked at an unwrap. It's very helpful. It panicked somewhere in here. So an IO error. An existing connection was forcibly closed by the remote host. 
I wonder if it was because it was too many connections in too short of time. I mean, so this, this might end up working. It's really hard to tell. I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna start using this library as it is. And then if we can get like, if we can actually figure this out, maybe what I'll do is I'll um, connect to it locally so we can play around with it. So sorry about all the, uh, the spam. Um, but okay. If this library works, uh, it opens up a new thing that I wanna try, uh, a different application, which is, I'm hoping gonna be really fun. Uh, do I have it in here? I don't know what to call this. Uh, Probably like control. Oh, probably something like Twitch controls. Okay, I don't have any of them in here. So let's do Oh yeah, and Rust 1.59 just dropped yesterday too. I haven't looked at what they changed. Go see. Uh, inline assembly. So when compiling for x86 64 targets, um, oh, you can actually just write assembly code directly. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna ever need that. Who knows, maybe, maybe one day I'll, I'll do some like super low level stuff, but I mean, it's cool that they have it, but I usually stick to the more high level things. The structuring assignments. You can now use tuple, slice, and struct patterns as the left-hand side of an assignment. You can destructure structs and array slices. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so this takes in C gets one. So then D gets four. We don't care about five. And this skips the other ones. Oh, that is cool. And then destruct. So then, then this essentially is, yeah, E that we get out of here. Okay, that's cool. have default values for generics now so we have the generic n and we say by default it's it is a u size and it's equal to two
I don't know where I'm where I would use that. Uh, it seems really cool, and it seems like it's opening a way for default items, which is gonna be huge when that happens. Okay, stripping stuff is is nice. Uh, they disabled incremental compilation by default. Um, oh, mitigating a, a huge bug. So we're gonna get slower slower uh, compilations for just a little bit until they fix that. Huh, result copied and cloned. Iter zip? Oh, a zip is nice. Is a power of two. Somebody should definitely use these in um in like interview questions. They should, they should allow that. Okay, uh, this seems pretty cool. Okay, so we have you under the cargo. We're gonna call this Twitch Plays. Yeah, I think we're think this is gonna be Twitch plays. No, cargo. New Twitch plays. Uh, so I thought it was gonna take me a lot longer to fix the um, the IRC thing. That's why I started so early. I thought like maybe I could do it um, by you know, next month or so, but hey, we're here now, so we'll just uh, we'll just get this done early and uh, start playing around with this, which I'm hoping will be fun. Uh, maybe we can open up to playing some, not just the games that I make, but having some games through Twitch chat that uh, other, you know, normal games. Also, Zilby's not here anymore. Uh, let's see, let's code. Um, okay, so a couple things we need here. Uh, we need cargo add air. It's cargo add. Um, I don't know if I can do it. So Twitch chat wrapper. Something like path. Something like that. Um, we don't hate it. I uh, wonder if I can pull it in then. Okay, so then in here, uh, I need to add in, let's copy. So I should I should be able to use this now. So um, 
that send to uh, Twitch see from um, I guess this is gonna be app. Send to app save from Twitch. We're going to do this loop. Um, I guess I guess the loop doesn't really matter because it's if it's going to fail, it fails in some other weird way. Uh, okay. Or I'm not properly catching and bubbling up all of the errors. That's probably what's really happening. Um, okay, so then we're going to do a run in a thread. Okay, so receive for chat. So this is going to be receive from app, send to uh, send to app. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I can do that. Be okay. Wrap you. Return. You return a result. So you don't like that? Cannot be known. Wait, so you have to be an unwrap? Oh, that seems weird. Is that is that a real problem? Or is that um, Rust Analyzer freaking out? Uh, let's try, let's put our send in here too. Um, okay, so. Oh, that one it likes. That one it doesn't. Yeah, cannot be shared between threads safely. Okay. I guess an unwrap it is. Hey, there we go. Okay, so we now play here and it sits here forever and waits for messages to come in. So I want to load up the library. Um, I want some kind of a struct in here that I can store the receiver. Uh, I probably don't care about sending anything back, so I just need the main, the main state. So.
Um, and this is going to be uh, receive from chat. I guess like just from chat. Okay, so we'll grab that, store that away. I guess there's gonna be like, we'll just call it main state. from chat so it's the receiver receive from twitch um okay so things um i i found this library so i've been um background on this a little bit I've been watching a lot of um uh I, I never catch him like live on uh, on Twitch. Um but I watch a lot of the stream vods from Doug Doug. Uh and if any of you have seen his channel, which uh let me see oh, let me load it up. Twitch Doug Doug. Is that it? No, that's that's not it. That looks more appropriate. That's a link to uh, uh, his channel. Um, so he does a lot of uh, Twitch plays types like challenges and he wrote his um, his script in Python and I wanted to try I wanted to um, to play around with that because it seems like such a fun idea. So I decided to uh, uh, I, I looked online and I found a library in Rust that we can simulate uh, some keyboard inputs called an ego. Uh, seems decently um, popular, so I uh, uh, I want to try this out, and uh, it supports um, Mac and Windows and kind of Linux, X11 at least. So uh, it should work pretty much everywhere too. So to begin with. Um, I want, uh, let's, let's bring this in. So it's Anigo. Okay, so added that. Uh, Inigo has an example somewhere here. So we create a new instantiation of it and then we can just do things. So we need to store that and save it off. So we'll have our, um, I guess I could just call it Inigo, uh, but maybe we should call it like the, um, the controller. Um, Input controller, maybe? Uh, 
And then we're gonna do, uh, you're an Inigo. Um, and then whenever we receive a message, we can basically just do this thing and have it work. So if I wanted to try it out, uh, let's, I'm guessing we need some kind of loop here. We need something that just runs in a loop. I guess we'll have like a public function run. I guess at this point I can change the uh, title too, because we're now on to the next thing, which is um, creating a Twitch plays uh, bot, a uh, Twitch plays um, controller. Uh, All right, uh, let's see, pub function run. I want to do an infinite loop with this. Do I want to do an infinite loop here or up? I think I just want to do an infinite loop here. And I want to receive messages. Okay, so we want to try to receive a message. So, uh, if let's, I can't never remember if it's an okay or a sum. Uh, so this is gonna be a chat message. Okay, so try arc V. Oh, are you gonna hang here? I would probably be okay if this hung. Okay, so we do Treyarch V. This probably works for right now. But I think there's one where I can just do a Rec V. I think it pauses and waits on here. Yeah, attempts to wait for a value in this receiver and just, it will block the current thread. And I think, so this is gonna be single threaded for right now and then maybe we can have multiple. Receivers? That doesn't seem right. I would be single threaded right now. And then, okay, so as soon as you get something, then I want you to um, try to do this thing. So we're gonna do a self dot, uh, I guess it depends upon what we say. So I want to match on chat message dot message. I guess, yeah, I probably want to match on it. You're a string too, so let's do a reference to you. Uh, and then I want to do, okay, so if you're, if you're down, then I want to like, let's just do move the cursor down one. Okay, so Anigo key down. So 
self dot input controller dot key down. Okay, then we're gonna do a key uh, down arrow. And if you're anything else, um, I am just gonna do a no operation. And then, I guess I don't need to, um, so wreck me. Oh, if that, okay. Yeah, I'm not caring about this. So I don't, I don't actually need to do return anything. Mismatch types expected a reference to a string found reference. Is there, is there something where I can do like as ref or like not as, as stir maybe? Yeah, okay. Now you consider using the if. I could do that. Um, I'm planning, wait, you can do up arrow right away. So up. Key up. Up arrow. Yeah, that makes that makes it clippy a little bit happier. So let's let's run this and see what happens. Oh, it didn't like that at all. What happened? Linking with link.exe failed. Oh, cannot open file in it. What? Is this a... Huh, let me try it from a normal terminal. Oh, same thing. Okay, so linking with link.exe failed. So it doesn't like any go. Seems strange. Um, I tried, I thought I tried doing this. I, I did a test earlier and it worked. Uh, let's see, where was this? Documents, code, I think it was in mine. Yeah, okay. Here's like the Twitch plays that I played with. I think when it runs, it just tries to go like down a couple. Waits a couple seconds and then. Oh, I ran into this problem. Okay, so that was the um open up this and remove move the twitch chat stuff so I don't need any of this uh, it just waits five seconds um, oh it doesn't do anything apparently uh, well, I just want to do, uh, uh, Nigo, 
you down. Um, Wait for three seconds, press key down, down arrow. Um, okay, I didn't, let me do it again. The key code is right here on five and it went down to six. Okay, so that works. So it's it's working here. So why isn't it working in this other code over here? Also, it's not even getting to this point. Um, it seems, seems odd that we'd be getting this error. Uh, did I bring in the right Anigo? Oh, 0014. Okay, that's correct. Okay, let me try in main just doing the Anigo uh, test here. So if I do let mute, we go. Yeah, I'm getting this weird linking problem. Um, feels weird. Could it be the Twitch chat wrapper? Like if I take you out and I just comment out the entire file. So we don't even use you. Try a different terminal. Like, let's try this one. Because this one's working over here. Uh, so let's see, we go to builds, yeah, push place. Do you get the same pro you get the same problem? Okay, so do I have to just start over with this? Or it's because I have it running in another window and it can't run it twice at the same time. 
Perhaps. Perhaps that's my issue. Perhaps indeed. Okay, so that I think that's working. Oh, uh, okay. So bring you back. Bring you back. Bring you back. Um, okay, you should all be happy. Okay, so bring bring all of you back and you back. Let's try this again. Okay, you can now play. So I want to keep my cursor here uh, on seven. And I want to move it down. Oh, you know what? The problem is, if I type down up here, ah, my cursor, it happens too quickly, doesn't it? Um, if, if it's just me testing. So, um, let's try, I'm gonna add in a little tiny bit of a um, delay. Or I can try um, this probably, let's do this one. Um, if I type in, hello, I'll do self dot input controller dot, I think there's one where I can do like a, Types the string, parse the DSL. Okay, so. Okay, so I can just say like, um, hello. Okay, so then restart you. Uh, then if I type in hello, oh, it didn't immediately type hello into my, um, my Twitch window, which was kind of what I was expecting to have happen. So I need to make sure this is happening. test oh yeah okay so that's that's not catching here so this is uh this is not happening you know why it's not happening because somebody forgot to run run main state dot run that would certainly help okay let's try this again Uh, error, uh, cannot borrow is mutable. Right, so you need to be mutable. Um, okay, so this is that problem that doesn't exist outside. So it exists somewhere inside of Twitch, uh, the Twitch chat library. Okay, so if I type hello. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, so let me show you what this looks like from my point of view. So I type in hello here, and bam, it immediately types out hello in my chat window, which is exactly what I wanted. So, um, if we do now, I want to, I want this to be able to handle lowercase or uppercase. So I want this to be, uh, like two lowercase. 
So take this to lowercase. And then if it's down, if it's up, uh, if it's left. Uh, key up. This would be key. Left arrow. And then right. Oh, I probably want key down, not key up. Um, okay, so. So now if I have my E there and I type in right, it's really hard to, oh, you know, it's, it's impossible to tell there. Uh, so let me, uh, launch a game. Let's see, what's a game that I have that doesn't require very, very much. Um, I do Vampire Survivors, uh, I think is good. Perhaps not. Is this really loud? That sounded really loud. I can turn off my music. Um, okay, so I start, uh, and I think I can just type in left. Does that work here? Left arrow, right arrow works. So, um, how about down? Oh, up and down works. So, down. It's not. Mm. Oh, I was hoping. I was hoping this would work. Um, Oh, that's too bad. Okay, so I'm getting message right. Cool that I made them opposite. Oh, no, okay. Left is left arrow. Right is right arrow. And I was clicking that. That should have worked. Did I, did I not restart after... I wonder if it's not matching. That could be the problem too. Now the hello worked though. So maybe it's something else. Oh, you know what? Because I can't type it. Once again, same exact problem. I need, hold on. I need to connect to a different chat unless any of you want to try to play. Uh, Left, left, up, down. Let's see. Left, right, up, down is is the way to do it. While I log into Twitch, which I need to re-log into Twitch.
Okay, let's try let's try this. So hanging out in here left. Ah uh, oh, it's holding it down. Okay, that's um that's a bit much. Okay, so key down holds it, like actually holds it down. What are my other choices? Key click, key down sequence. Oh, so I could probably like hold down, wait for a little bit of time and then key up. So key click maybe is probably what I do, want to do. So key. Try this. So left. Okay. Right. Right work. No, right doesn't work. It worked once. Up works. Down doesn't work. Okay, it worked there. I wonder if it's happening like between frames, like it's too fast. Because it... That last right two wait, does two rights in a row do not work? Oh, interesting. Okay, so if I do a command, another command won't work right away. Uh so I wonder I wonder if I actually need to do like down for like a couple of milliseconds, then up immediately after that. So let's let's try that. So let's do E down. So down arrow. Then um Let's do like a short wait. So, um, tiny, tiny wait. Where's my new? Oh, that is my new. So let's do maybe like 10 milliseconds. Might, might even be able to get away with just five milliseconds. Okay, so then I want to thread, sleep, wrong thread. Then I'm gonna do self dot input controller dot key up, um, and then the same key. So press it down for five milliseconds and release it. 
and that will be down. I need to restart it. Okay, so, oh, I can't, can't go down. Okay, so here I can go up, down, down. So I should be able to go down twice. Down. Are you not triggering in here? Oh no, okay, it, it definitely triggered. Uh, but the Anigo thing is like sometimes working and sometimes not. It's like not consistent? Or do I have to wait longer? Like, okay, so we got this down. So we do the key down. Down arrow, we sleep for a tiny bit, and then key up the down arrow. Let's try half a second. So my my keys work, right? Yeah. Okay, that worked. And I don't think I can go oh I I can just keep on cycling. So I can just do down again, down it's going. Mm, okay, so that's consistently working, which tells me that it's taking too long. Uh, let's see, so we have the an ego struct. Get the delay per key press. Oh, and then we can set a delay. It's Linux specific, but I wonder I wonder if we have to deal with that. Um, so let's see. We do we get the anigo and then we do a uh key down.
Okay, so release a given key, formally press down by key down. So I wonder if I wonder if our uh what is it called? I wonder if that that pause thing is taking too long. Let's see. That was in an ego. Let's see what our delay is. Um, you're a public function. Input controller is an Inigo. Wait, you're right here. You're a struct, you're an Inigo struct. So if that input controller, um, really? Okay, why can't I see that? And you're public too. Yeah, okay. Your default delay is like what, 1200? Um, so we can try setting the delay. I wonder if I can. Set delay. So this will be self dot input controller dot set delay. Oh, you don't like that at all. Are you? No method found, huh? Yeah, no method found. Um. Okay, so I am on 0 .0 0 0.0.14. Feels, feels strange. I wonder if this is not gonna be a good crate for us to use then. I might have to find a different one. Uh, we're not getting an error with that. Do you do something strange in a code to make it so I can't access this public function? Uh, let's see, it has a self on it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and that one has mute self. Oh, I wonder, I wonder if I can't use it if I'm not on a Linux system. I wonder if it's, is there like a default, is there an impulse that's not, 
for Windows. Seems, it seems strange to me. Um, okay, so there is, there is this click, which is supposed to do the same thing as both of these together. So, Key click, down arrow, and if I run this, um, can't do that. Okay, so if I just leave that here, can I do a key click and go down? Ooh, okay, so that works there. Okay, that consistently works there, going down like three times in a row. Okay. Uh, I guess like, is this game only listening to commands every, like every X uh, milliseconds? So, oh, no, that seems to be working now. Ooh, that one, okay, that one didn't catch. I wonder if it's like every once in a while I catch it like between a frame. And like it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, catch that um that input but if enough people are pressing it at the same time i think it would work and i think right is still um holding down forever Oh no, that that's a key. That's a click too, isn't it? Okay. Um now if I play this, how how much do I move with just a click? Is that is that a, just a tiny 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 amount? Oh my gosh, that's far too small. Okay, so like to play the game I would need to um I would need to hold it down for a significant amount of time. That was really loud. Sorry about that. Turn that down a little bit. Actually, I can. That like full screened here too. It wasn't a window before. You go way down. Okay, so I would need something like another function to like press key. So we can do something like a, um, a short press. Or maybe just like, I'll just do press key, mute self. Um, then we want the key. It's going to be a key, this key. Not going to return anything. Uh, then we'll just do our hold the key and then release the key. Uh, I should probably create the like normal weight. Mm. 
Get duration. Okay, so for half a second, we'll hold it down. So we'll do um, self dot input controller dot key down, pass in the key. Uh, we wait. So thread. Self dot normal wait. Uh, self dot input controller dot key up and the key again. And then, so, okay, so based on down, up, left, and right, we'll do a self dot press key down arrow. Okay, so we'll now control all of them through this, so it'll hold down for a little bit of time. Um, okay, so I don't have like an enter. Uh, okay, let's try. Try this again. So if I type up. Oh, that's that's better. I would probably want like if there's a lot of people playing, uh, that would probably move us around a bit, uh, especially if I'm not doing like an averaging of inputs, but rather just saying like, OK, for for a bunch of inputs, like just do do the thing. So I think this could work, and then I want to um, uh, get all the different inputs that we would need. For example, for this game, maybe maybe for some like turn-based games too, because that could be easier to play. Uh, and then I'm also thinking um, could be fun to do some like programming stuff, where it's like, okay, you guys program, um, and let them control VS Code, but like not do too many dangerous things. Uh, I think I think I might be able to get away with that, but uh, cool stuff to play around with. It's uh, uh, I want to I want to explore more in sort of like this space because I think I think it would be a lot of fun. All right, you're huge. I don't need you to be huge. All right, uh, with that, thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. Uh, I am going to head off, get ready for bed. Uh, my next official stream is going to be Sunday morning, and we're going to continue working on the uh, U uh, uh, front-end applica to-do application. Um, and so that's a Rust-based web, web application. So hopefully have a great night, and uh, I will see you next time. Bye.